Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, MC Love Matters. In this channel, I'll be talking about love, marriage, relationships, and family dynamics. I am passionate about helping people improve their relationships. I am a happy wife for over 13 years now, a mother of four, an entrepreneur, an employee, a sister, a friend, and a minister. I believe that I have some wisdom that I can share with you. Hello family, welcome back to the channel, MC Love Matters. And if you are new here, welcome as well. And I will invite you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share with friends and family. As promised, I am coming back with a video on infertility. It is a challenge that many couples go through and they don't want to talk about it or at times they can talk about it because it's a, a taboo subject. I know when you prepare for the wedding, for the marriage, for your life together, most couple you think about having children and by the time you start trying once twice nothing happens you realize that you might have a problem and the first thing most of the time that comes to mind is what have i done wrong most of the time nothing but the guilt the shame you don't want to talk about it you hide you become very upset angry or resentful when you see people with your children don't do that go and see your doctor find out what is going on and eventually they might refer you to an infertility clinic in some areas in some uh, uh, parts of the world you are not able to go through an infertility treatment and i pray that eventually something works out and you're able to hold your baby in your hand. In the culture where I'm coming from, when there's a problem, when there's a challenge conceiving, we blame the woman. And at times, the problem comes from the man. Sometimes even the family, the guy's family will ask him to divorce his wife. Bad husband. If your wife is going through infertility or wife if your husband is going through infertility stick by them love on them show them that you are there with them you will tell them we are in this thing together one day you will rejoice with the fruits of the womb if possible God's willing I've been there before married for about two and a half years no babies we were married for two months and I got pregnant. I was very excited. I told my family. Then, a week later, I had a miscarriage. I had no idea what it was. Got worried, thinking there's something wrong with me. Went to the doctor, did everything that needs to be done, and no, there's nothing wrong with me. I didn't have one miscarriage. I didn't have two. I had plenty. Before having my first child, I had so many, I stopped counting. So don't give up. But this is a subject that we need to talk about because while you are going through infertility, you feel like there's something wrong with you. And we have excuses. Couples who can identify with me, most of the time, the good reason is we're not ready. Let's educate our folks. When you see a couple, they don't have children, don't ask unless you have a certain relationship with them. You don't know what they are going through. You don't know the struggle. You don't know the crying that is going on in that house. So if you see them, pray for them. Don't see a woman, she has a little belly, oh baby. No, you don't know. Probably she's taking hormones and then it makes her belly big. You don't know. Don't ask questions. Just bear with them. Pray for them. Love them. As you are going through this struggle, love other children. 
You have your nieces, you have your nephews, you have your friends' children. Love them just as your children. And by the way, have you ever thought about adoption? Yes, we did. We thought about adoption. And by the time we were ready for it, I got pregnant with my first child. And utility is not just if you have a child. At the time you have one child, two children, even three, and you want a fourth one, you want a third one, and you're not able to. So I would take this opportunity to also tell people, when you see a couple with one or two, don't ask them, when is the third one coming? You don't know the struggle. When you see them pregnant, congratulate them. But don't ask questions because the struggle is real. People are crying because they're not able to conceive. And it's not their fault most of the time. My first child, you think everything is going well. You cannot conceive, you cannot have a baby. I went through the same miscarriages. Second baby comes in, everything is well. After that, miscarriages. So it's not an easy thing. It's actually very uh, uh, emotionally draining. It is hard on you, on the family, because sometimes you just, your marriage takes a toll because you just feel like, oh, what's the point? Even though it's not a good reason, but it takes a toll on the marriage. So couples, I'll talk to you. You are struggling with infertility. It is hard, but at times, just look at your spouse in the eyes and say, I love you. I will be with you no matter what. We need to hear those words sometimes. Yesterday, I'm a mother of four. It has not been an easy road having those babies, but I'm grateful and then I love them. And I wish that now, that you will be able to hold your baby in your hands and rejoice. I hope this video will bless you. Share it with friends and family. Like this video. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do so. I will see you very soon in my next video. A bientôt. Bye-bye.